I have a mission. That mission is to tell you people about a person named Mika Kit. I've been around the Mika Kit community for a couple of months now, but I'd like to share my opinion on the community with you guys. Due to its toxic nature, the community is really bad and nobody should be under the influence of it. That's why I'm going to cover it today in this video. Liking and subscribing would be appreciated as I've been working on this video for a pretty long time. And without further ado, let's get into it. At the time I first saw Mika Kit, I was pretty bewildered. I was wondering why this animator had gone so famous over the years, and I think I'm starting to know why. That's right, trends. These trends seem to originate from Gacha Life slash Gacha Club videos, and using the sound feature on YouTube, it showed us lots of similar looking art styles using the same sounds. What could be possible is that YouTube's algorithm suddenly hit Mika Kit and due to that, she's now where she is now. Speaking of now, let's see how many subscribers she has now. 840,000 subscribers! That is absolutely wild and I know for certain that I'm never gonna reach that amount of subscribers anytime soon. 840,000 subscribers. An incredible feat that only some of the greatest YouTubers can achieve. But Mika Kit somehow did it. But enough praising the subscribers. We're here to talk about Mika Kit herself. By continuously uploading friends and animations, she gets more popular by every second. These friends would be poorly animated at the start, but they would evolve in about a year's time due to passive improvement. Goes to show that not only do you not have to be a good animator to strike gold, but also if you keep animating long enough, you'd improve by a lot. It's pretty cool to see how much Mika Kid has grown in terms of animation and detail. Alright, so let's talk about the trends again. These trends were meant to shock you and feel bad, and that's why they've gotten so many views. The trends are really dark in nature, and they show child abuse and other distressing situations. Shown here is Mika Kid's animation of a child beating themselves against a wall because the mother is angry at the child, all while the child is screaming I'm sorry. And it's because the mother is abusive. From what I can tell, these shorts were brought onto people's shorts feeds and they were instantly hooked. Lots of these animations seem to be inspired by another person with underscore kit after their username, Mary Kit. Or Mary Kits. Why what is, the fuck is this gonna be? What the 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 say? <laughs> A Spanish speaking YouTuber with another insane amount of subscribers. This time it being 250,000. You can probably guess how they've gotten that many subscribers. Some of these animations are very similar, despite Mika Kip making these videos way after Mary Kit did. There's this video involving a drawn dog choking a cat. This video was a trend, and both Mika Kit and Mary Kit made the same video, just with some art style changes and design changes. I will now play the two videos for you guys. <laughs> Similar, right? It shows that Mika Kit wasn't the first person who would do these types of animations. Or, uh, slideshows, I guess. Now, let's talk about something else. Did you know that Mika Kit had a channel even before she was called Mika Kit? That's right. It was a channel that uploaded in 2020 and it was called Music Cat. It was translated by Google Translate, so I don't know if it's accurate. It's mostly pre-2020 animation meme cringe. But it really goes to show how animators can evolve throughout the years. There are a couple videos on the account consisting of 2017 to 2020 ish animation memes and animations. Some of them are playing in the background right now.
To be honest, seeing these two channels grow and be the rise of the now fabled Mika kit really is neat. What was once another one of those cheap animators has now grown into the internet Russia wide star now known as Mika kit. I hope that this could be used for inspiration for any future animators who want to establish themselves more, who want to really put passion into their work. It didn't take me long to realize that these channels were her upbringing, her rise. What we've learned now is that any animator can be successful, that any animator could improve at their work and pour their souls into their projects. What we can hope now is for a bright future, one where Mika Kit thrives as a well-established animator. But as this video's chapter foretold, this was only the calm. The calm before the storm. Now this is where the video really starts to get good. I'm trying my absolute best to try to understand this whole Mika Kid haters drama, so please correct me in the comments if I get anything wrong. So apparently, later in Mika Kid's channel's lifespan, around the start of 2023, a person named Peva Kit made a Mika Kit Trace Me video. From what I know, Peva Kit's whole existence is based off of Mika Kit and is probably just another troll. And at this point, you should know what a Trace Me video is. It's literally bait made to make people mad at the tracer, since tracing is considered to be a cardinal sin upon the art community. Some people may be familiar with the Caddy and Rosie Trace Me videos, as those were also just bait. And speaking of who Caddy and Rosie is, they're an animator that has become pretty popular over time. They will come up again later in this chapter. At the time of making this video, I can't find Peva's original video, but apparently, this video stoked the fire that cannot be put out, which is the Mika Kid hate base. Now, you guys probably know what's next. There were hundreds, maybe even tens of thousands of Mika Kid hate videos featuring but not limited to her head being stabbed, her being shot in the head, getting ripped in the stomach by a chainsaw, being hit by a bat, and literally being hung alive. There were two very popular, and I mean very popular Mikika haters who came after the rise of Hevakit that go by the name of Makiko Fox and Millie Chan Bunny, who I will be naming Piss Rabbit for now. They're both egotistical degenerates who do nothing but shoot mannequins of Mikikit for fame! Damn mannequins! Why ain't she dead? You know, if they're doing all this terrible and ungod awful stuff, they must have a good reason for it, right? Right? Hello guys, yes I'm Makiko Fox. Today I'm talking about why I hate Mika Kit. If you don't know that, Mika Kit is copy my sleeve. This is her with her old style when she doesn't know me. And this is her with a new style when she know me. And I think she copied. That's dear her fan. She's very biased towards her. <laughs> ah, just what I needed. Perfect. Crystalline fuckness. This video was so ultra terrible that it literally turned me into a bee. Like this rant, if I can even call it one, is already mind numbing. And we haven't even seen most of the whole video. Motherfucker be speaking like she was rapping lyrics. Let's just start off with dismantling this argument, limb by limb like that one video of Rabot getting its limbs ripped out. Now, First off, she starts whining like a teensy tiny baby about how Mika Kit stole her sleeves. Wah! You stole my sleeves! Actual piss baby, that does not excuse you from dedicating your entire channel to virtually game ending Mika Kit. Now, second off, she starts talking about being mean to her haters while pulling up this video. Let me give you a friendly reminder that Mika Kit is a 12 year old. A 12 year old. 12 year olds cannot cope with hate, especially if it's on this scale, when a full blown channel dedicated to making Mika Kit killing videos appears. Akiko Fox, you're actually so pathetic for all this. Generally, I'm cringing so hard right now. Makiko Fox and Millie Chan Bunny's channels are probably the biggest copes I have ever seen. Now, let's just scrape some more into the absolute shit barrel that is Makiko's rant on Mika Kit.
I think her fan are toxic, and I know some of her fan will never believe what I said. And some of her fan will said Mika Kit is the best. Mika Kit better than you. Mika Kit better than everyone. And they didn't know that too many people are better than her. And they think I think I better than Mika Kit. And I don't understand why. Her fan said to hater that hater hate everyone when they didn't know who they hate and who they like and love though. And Mika Kit is very crazy and cringe. <laughs> I don't understand why people like or love it though is very cringe right? And I don't like someone that's called hater or kid and 4 years ago kid when they didn't know how old are they. Now, first of all, people, or at least I will never believe what you'll say because what you're saying is already mind-bogglingly stupid. Second, Mika's fans are all adolescent 10 year olds that mindlessly follow Mika kid on their iPads. If Mika tells them to comment Mika is better than you on a video, they will do it. And the comments aren't even that bad from what I know. You could have just shown proof of their harassment, you idiot. But it is one of the only things I agree with in this video, because weaponizing your audience is a pretty bad thing to do. Now, she says something about her fans telling a hater that they hate everyone, which is pretty confusing to me because I don't know why Makiko added that in. Maybe Makiko doesn't know that Mika's fanbase are young, immature children? And then she just calls her content cringe, like it's the only thing she has going for her in her life. Now, let's dive deep into the depths of hell one more time. And I think Mika Kit is Pava Kit. And now Pava Kit is banned. And someone take her old video to post is and everyone think that she apologized. Well, that all? Alright. So there's no way Mika Kit is Peva Kit, although I do think that the latter is true, and that the Peva Kit channel I showed at the start is probably just a re-uploads channel. Phew! Thank fuck I don't have to sit through that anymore. If I rated that rat, I would give it 2 cunts out of 10 because I almost passed out from my brain breaking. I think we need a break after that, so uh, I'll see you after the intermission. Some of the videos that showed up on the screen were also part of the reason why Mika has been getting this astronomical amount of hate. They appear in lots of rant videos, easily accessible thanks to a channel named Angeli. There's loads of Mika kit rants that I won't cover too deeply, but I will go into the more important details. There's some pretty good rant videos going over why Mika kit is problematic, such as this one by Unicornion. The video has some pretty strong points. Unicorn Yon goes over the carelessness and immaturity of the artist, which is true. Mika Kid is very careless when it comes to adding trigger warnings and other stuff. So basically, if you watch their videos, and you see these two videos, they don't put a trigger warning at all, since most of them have flashing or horror. 
images, which would in fact affect a person with epilepsy or person, might get triggered by the scary images. Now, the reason why I think she doesn't care about all of that stuff is because of blissful ignorance. As a child, children usually don't realize how bad certain things can be. It's like playing Pokemon Black, but without knowing that Getsis was an evil manipulator. I felt this feeling before, and that's also why I'm talking about it here. People don't usually want to think about bad stuff, but at times, they have to. It's still really bad for a creator to have this, which is why I applaud Unicorn Yan for calling it out. Another reason is she never listens to criticism. So Mika decided to make this trend with a pose that a creator. And Nounsby said not to use, and for a lot of reasons, because you don't. Want to pose to be stolen or used as a base. Once again, my blissful ignorance argument applies here as well. I don't have much to say about this, so let's just keep going with the video. Only these two comments actually told her not to use them, but I don't. Think she ever listened to them and plus the video still up sadly and... Unfortunately, one of those comments actually got hate for posting that. Comment, which is really sad since they're just trying to warn her. I do think that there's something wrong with Mika Kit's fan base as Mika Kit's fan base is filled with 9 year olds and that just makes for a perfect storm. But there are at least some people who are trying to help the artist be more cautious. Seeing that people are actually getting hate for trying to help Mika Kit is absolutely absurd. Now let's go to the last part, which is her toxicity. And fan days. So the last part is that she posted two videos about one toxic person, which is Pava Kit. Which, to be honest, it would have been fine if she could have just told her fan base not to attack this person. So, you guys remember what I said earlier in the video, right? Exactly. Mika Kit cannot deal with criticism or hate, especially when it's on this scale. It's still her responsibility to do something about this, but 12 year olds like Mika Kit are pretty sensitive when it comes to hate. Let me ask you guys a question. What if you, at the age of 12, suddenly got a massive hater channel that makes killing videos about you. To be honest, I would have been reacting the same as Mika Kit. Now, let's just skip through the video for a bit since there's not much important stuff, but we are left with a pretty gruesome reality. And plus, she can't handle hate maturely because she bullies people. That pretty much don't like her at all, and yes, I know there's toxic haters but if you're handling hate like this, then I don't think you deserve to have a YouTube platform just saying. That's right. Mika Kit was never meant to be on YouTube. Now we have some more stuff to go over. Oh, it seems like this rabbit here also made a Mika Kit rant video. I think you guys already know what to do. Let's throw ourselves into hell once more. Her old vid, right? Y'all will said that. The vid looks good and fun nothing can talk about. But no, look at this vid. Yes, nothing can talk about. If Alex actually her brother then, why? He wants his little sister wearing this sexy dress and dancing, right? I agree that Mika doesn't want to wear it. But his brother bribed her to wear that dress and she f***ed wear it, and used her dark side to hide. OFC everyone will said that is fine, but actually is not BC her brother, watching her dancing with that f***ing dress. Now, apart from the intro, which I've cut out for your sake, the video instantly starts off with this. She talks about how, in the video, Mika's brother makes Mika wear a sexy dress, which is subjective, but the majority of these rants always call this one video out for having Mika wear a sexy dress. The video Piss Rabbit shows is Mika Kit's own spin-off of the sad cat dance trend, which is a trend that I, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, please make it stop, not particularly like that much. The sad cat dance trend is where a person wears a maid outfit or something suggestive and does a dance in it. There are some less suggestive and more wholesome ones, but when you search it up and already see a video where a character is literally wearing only a bikini, that's where I draw the line. Stuff like this isn't even age restricted. My theory is that Mika Kit made the video for the sake of it being a trend. 
Sorry about my little tangent there about the sad cat dance trend. It's just so bad that I really had to rant about it in this video. This likely also explains why she did all those other videos with these dresses. Now, we're gonna go over some more stuff that Mika Kit apparently did wrong. And apparently, she's been accused of tracing. Remember the Caddy and Rosie video I showed you guys earlier? Well, Mika Kit was accused of tracing this exact video. The movements are basically the same as Caddy and Rosie's video. I actually agree with these videos. This is the first spot on argument I've seen in the kit community for a while. They are objectively wrong. Don't believe me? I'll overlay the two videos on top of each other. I think you guys already know what I mean. Mika Kit's video is done in CapCut by tweening, while at the same time being pretty off sync, while on the other hand, Caddy and Rosie's video is done in Flip a Clip, with some total frame by frame goodness. The verdict here is that this video is not traced or stolen, you are all horribly wrong once again. There are some more videos that Mika Kit has been criticized of, such as. There are so many rants that fill on actually being a good rant or just showing evidence of Mikika being a quote, horrible, horrible person. person. This community is nothing but a total shitstorm of children trying to be popular and dominant over each other. And as Fex the Wolf said, this community should be nothing more than a niche space, and that's already bad on its own. And the fact that YouTube has yet to be cracking down on this is insane. These videos are literal death threats. These people's channels should already be gone. There's so much obviously wrong with this community. These parents need to be more cautious about this. If the people that are watching this are still in this absolute shittle, leave it now. I don't think that constantly seeing Mika Kit being hung alive is healthy for people like you. If you're still watching the video, good, because it's about to get very gruesome. But before that, we're gonna take a look and listen to the special guest of this video. Hi! The reason I started making these videos is because I wanted clout but not just for clout. I wanted to be popular with the haters like Makiko and Millie being the main people on the anti Mika community. Trust me, joining the Andy Mika community was the worst decision ever. Because lately I've seen people making porn out of my arc or shipping me with other Andy Mika people just like what happened to Makiko and her friends. I guess that's it. Bye for now. Thank you very much, Meowx, for being with us today. And with that said, you should take her words into consideration. It's very likely that it's the reason that all of these other Mika Kid haters exist. Moving on, let's just say that nothing could have prepared me for what was about to come in the next chapter. So here we go. During my deep ventures throughout the terrible war fields, the hellish landscape, and the disgust that filled the lands of the Kit community, I found something absolutely terrible. There was a YouTube channel, and that channel's name was Chloe the Worst Ever, or you can just call them their display name, Anti Chloe. Chloe the Worst Ever is another Mika Kit hater channel, but with a twist. In fact, they're not even a Mika Kit hater at all. Their videos were targeted towards a troll by the name of Chloe, which is a person related to the Mika Kit community. 
You can already guess what type of person they are just by looking at their handle name. For your convenience sake, I will not be explaining or going over who this person is, as it's just a gigantic waste of time. They are a troll after all, and we all know that trolls seek attention. Except for the Mikika community, apparently. So, you guys might be familiar with this person, because their animations did get lots of views. There were two shorts posted on YouTube which both featured Chloe being heard in some type of way. And you would see this OC in these shorts videos. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. That looks familiar. Now, if wasting your time on a troll wasn't bad enough, it gets worse from here. These animations were extremely well animated at the time for the person being supposedly 11 years old. We couldn't find any of the videos that Chloe the Worst ever posted, since none of them were archived at the time of making this video. This was because at the time of editing this video, Chloe the Worst ever's account was privated. So, imagine this. There's a pretty similar animator going by the name of Rainbows. They're a very talented animator and the animations you're seeing on the screen are also made by her. She is also 11 years old. And now, imagine this. The animations you just saw on the screen, but all the talent that was put into them was wasted. Into a nothing. Soulless troll that only exists just to feed off of the attention they're getting. What now begins is a ride of emotions in an argument that I and the Chloe hater had. Hey, your animations are really good, but please stop making hate videos on Chloe or other people. They're not worth your time and you're wasting your talent on them. Please find something else to animate other than useless virtual killing videos that you know won't make a change. I was incredibly pissed at the time of seeing this, so bear with me. I replied with, if you say so, then have fun seeing your channel decease in the upcoming years. I shouldn't have expected anything more from an 11 year old after all. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. Which was later changed to a very funny joke. I'm not sure if I said anything before this, but Chloe the worst ever said, Buzz is my problem getting banned and it's not yours. Say that to Buzz for Buddies and the others. Wait, what? Man living under the rock and doesn't know Butts for Buddies. Okay, first of all, I do know who Butts for Buddies is, and... And second, I respond to this, saying, Butts is nothing but a troll who you or yourself are feeding attention. You're doing absolutely nothing by making these killing videos, and it only fuels Butts for Buddies' motives even more. I do know who Butts for Buddies is, and you know less about their community than I do. The reason that Buzz for Buddies is making alt accounts is because she wants to stay relevant and she's succeeding in that, and I wonder why. Sorry for the sudden cutoff there, but I'm pretty sure I said something along the lines of, it's because of you people feeding her the attention that she needs. Same with me killing Chloe. And what is Chloe again? That's right, a troll! Wow, so real troll. Recording movie sexualized parts to kids, drawing shit and took a picture full of that shit. Bro, you don't know Chloe well, she is not a troll. Yep, Chloe's a girl. Chloe's whole existence revolves around Mika Kid, bro. Stop lying, dude, you use Chloe for attention. I regret supporting you. You've done nothing but feed Chloe attention, not to mention that your OC is literally a replica of Bugs for Buddies' art style. What the actual fuck just happened? Let's talk about some events that happened at the time of the argument and after the argument. So, a bit after the argument, she changed one of her video's descriptions to I'm not real for some reason. And after that, she would change it to Morse code for some reason. And of course, me and my server found this absolutely hilarious, and we decided to try to crack this code. This is a 
Terminal, Eric Muet, MR, M. At the moment, we don't know what this last part is, but shoutouts to Hi1i2i for helping with this, although we haven't decoded the last part yet. We've tried Caesar shifts, but none of them ended up as a coherent word. And a bit after this, one of my friends Ringo commented this. Chloe the worst ever, now known as Macrolops, responded with this. I was pretty happy knowing that Auntie Chloe was at least considering stopping with the hate. It kinda made me realize at the time that maybe I was a bit too harsh on the person. Shortly after this, Chloe the worst ever actually apologized, saying this. I apologize for killing Chloe. I'll explain about why I did that. So basically, I have anger issues, and I often get very angry, very easily when someone is disrespecting or not daring to their god. I just found Chloe randomly. I can't hold my opinion on a troll, and that's why I have to anger it out somehow. Sounds stupid, but it is true. I hate people who hate their god. I hate people who use god for attention. And I hate people who ship god with themselves. I love my god and I always will. I just can't see some other kids making fun of god. It hurts. That's why I have to make all those hate videos. But unfortunately I felt fun and just more fun doing those videos. Until someone screenshotted about me just replying no to their comment. Some people really caught me using Chloe for views. It's not fake. I fucking hate her and I want her to rot in hell and suffer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be all psychology here, but from what I can tell, as a not-so-religious person, religion means so much to people. It's their safety and their comfort, and when that peace is possibly disrupted, stuff like this could happen. Which is why I kind of agreed with this apology. After all, the person was 11 and I tried to warn them about the dangers of troll feeding. Or are they? A couple weeks after the drama has cooled down, there was a community post made by XX Idiot, a fellow animator who is also in the Mikake community. There's not that much description needed. I just noticed that Minecraft deleted his account. Information for people who didn't read their description or bio from the last time. So Minecraft called the worst of a lied about everything. Oh yes, he's not from Korea. He's not 11, but actually 14 to 15 years old. He's not a girl, but unfortunately a boy. Well, I did screenshot it, but I accidentally deleted it. What a shame. Okay, first. This is earth-shattering information, but at the same time, why would you delete this stuff? I would have understood it if you deleted the screenshots in the mass purge, maybe even to save memory. But you really had to say what a shame after this. But he did lie about his beautiful animation, and did he secretly like Chloe? Absolutely not. His Roblox account isn't official from the start. He paid someone to make it and changed the language to Korean. Alright, let's go over this again. XX Idiot says something about Chloe the Worst Ever lying about their animations. If this is true, then that means that even their animation skills are fake. And let's see here. Paying someone to make a Roblox account? What? Why would you pay someone to make a Roblox account when you can literally make one for free? Seems really strange to me. But it keeps going. I miss him. You don't know him at all. Bad things he did. He would always copy me whenever I posted. I remember when my brother posted about his Roblox account that got banned for one day. But at that time, Chloe the Worst of her didn't have an account yet. So he waited for the right time to post about the Roblox account stuff. And when I accidentally drew a border in a random style, he thought I changed the style, so he copied it. He isn't kind at all. He changed after he went viral. He is hungry for gifts. Even I have over 30,000 subscribers, and I still don't have any gifts yet. 
I think this is a perfectly fine reason to draw gifts for me. Please give me gifts, please, please. I need it, it's not even my birthday. But the actual reason is that he made the fan art contest because he doesn't actually want to beg, but actually beg in a different way. He has two faces. He only made gifts for me. Time has passed and he didn't make gifts for the others. Then he deleted his account because he wanted fan art and he ran away like a kid begging for candy. There isn't really anything to know after this other than her saying that she got this information because she was Chloe the worst ever's friend. Scrolling through this person's community posts, I don't see this post anywhere so this could mean that this information is likely faked. I wasn't there when Chloe the worst ever's bio changed, so please don't rely on me for that information. That was a lot to take in. There are theories going around that this person that you just saw who made the community post is Chloe the worst ever. I don't see any resemblances to their animations from what I remember. It's not really likely that XX Idiot is Chloe the worst ever. One of my server members, Stabby, made this image showing that Chloe the worst ever could actually be rainbows. Now this is a pretty good theory as their art styles are pretty similar and their animations are equally smooth as hell. Fun fact, here's the two of them actually talking together under a comment section. It's particularly likely that these two people are the same. Now, I'm going to need you guys to listen up for a bit. The next chapter's topic is going to be centered around the rampant NSFW issue of the community. So be warned, as what you're about to see is going to be pretty disturbing. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And just like that, we've arrived at the fourth chapter. We are now in the inner circles of disgust, and the most degenerative part of the Mikake community. So let me tell you this. When I searched Mikake on YouTube up, not anything else, just the name Mikake, you'd already see so much shit. You'd just see your typical Mikake videos and shorts, but then and all of a sudden, you would see this shit. It's already inexplainably disgusting how NSFW is so easily accessible in this community, despite it being on YouTube. I've tested this out on incognito mode too. Incognito mode! It gets worse from here. When you search up Mika Kit, and I'm not even kidding, when I say this, the autofill literally says Mika Kit Heat. And let's not forget that Mika Kit is a 12 year old. 12 years old. You should keep that in the back of your head. And knowing the fact that this community is filled to the brim with minors is just painful. There are countless children constantly being exposed to this kind of shit. It's up to the point where it literally goes psychological. These kids that are being exposed to this will once think that doing this is normal. That thought alone literally terrifies me. There is this account by the name of CloudyXX. This person makes normal animations and stuff, nothing wrong with them, but then you go ahead and look at the OCs and HOLY SHIT! Do you think I need to explain this to you? This is literally blatant sexualization. The most disturbing part of this is how crudely drawn everything looks. Everything looks like it was drawn by a child. Innocence bleeds. 
once you step inside of the Mikake community. And this right here really proves it. What is even more disturbing is when I told them to stop sexualizing their OCs, Cloudy XX didn't even know that they were doing it. Who is Sport Man? Who is this person who has been corrupting this person? I have found their channel, but it will be explained later on in this video. Let me just say you right now, they're an absolute degen. But there is one video I'd like to know. This one could be the culprit, but there's somebody who has been seen in this video who I haven't talked about yet. Someone who I've saved up for exactly for this moment, and that is... I present to you the peak of horniness and everything what's wrong with Gen Alpha. Lola Electric Cat. May God put an end to this channel as doing research for this channel not only gave me a headache, I had to watch fucking SCP-999 after only two seconds of watching the horrible garbage Lola Electric Cat makes. This channel is the epitome of degeneracy. 45,000 people who have their innocence completely butchered just to see those awuga thick thigh uwu drawings. Now Lola, I have a problem with you. Do you know that what you're doing is harming loads of children's dignity? Do you know that what you're doing is literally almost breaking the YouTube TOS? Do you know that you're actively destroying the dignity of those who are going to be the ones to rule the future of this world? Great job, because you just did an amazing job at completely ruining my day as a male content creator. I think I speak for all male people and female people in the Mikaka community when I say that this person is a fucking degenerate. You're older than me for fuck's sake! But again, why the fuck are you doing this at the age of 15? Why would you sexualize yourselves at the age of 15 just for internet view? It's probably the effects of puberty. But again, I'm not doing this. Actual sensible people are not doing this. Wanna know why? Because you don't, can't, throw your entire dignity away just for internet views. And once again, not only are you 15, but the people who you're drawing in a very provocative state are also clearly minors. And the worst thing about this is that this plan is working for her. She is corrupting people's mindset, ideals, and future. And I do not stand for this. There is so many examples of this. Lakey underscore K, Cloudy XX, who I mentioned earlier in this chapter, and Vordiker Man, the degen who was responsible for corrupting the shit out of Cloudy XX's ideals. Всем приветик, я Ворди, и это мое первое разговорное видео. Speaking of, this person is also a literal softcore porn artist. You can already tell how young they are by their voice. And these drawings are probably what Cloudy XX was inspired by. It's very saddening. Let's talk about Lakey Kid now. Alright, first of all, what the actual shit? Why would you draw Millie Chan in panties? We don't know her age yet, but I can definitely assure you from what I've seen in this community that Millie Chan is definitely a minor. I genuinely don't know why you would do this. This is fucking creepy. And trying to find these people calling this choice of art out it's like finding a needle in a haystack. It's so cringe and weird, to be honest. So these channels that I just mentioned are the literal bane of my existence, especially Lola's one. So while you're at it, I highly encourage every single one of you watching this video, after watching the video, to report these channels to YouTube. I see these channels as nothing but a plague on society, so please report them. Not only to spare mind sanity, but everyone's sanity in the kit community. If you guys are still watching this video, or have a good enough attention span to keep going, well, that's great. Because
Something from her, I honestly feel, Mika and feel, bad for her, but that doesn't, mean I like her. Although the video was pretty long, I hope you guys at least learned something. Thank you so much for taking your time with watching the video, and I hope that this video could change the Mikake community in a good way.
Do you throw yourself down the stairs on a regular basis? Uh, what? Because you look like a slinky with confidence issues. <laughs> Why are you so 